You'll notice in the flow map libraries panel, there are three flow maps provided, and we can actually very easily capture and add our own, which I'll show in a moment. But here we have gravel, and you'll see with the noisy flow map fringe, the effect as I go through the three different standard flow maps that are provided and how they impact the edges. So the the one at the bottom there is the uh, clouds flow map and that gives a nice soft edge. Let's go to the wet flow map fringe and let's have a look at the effect of changing a few things here. So with this wet flow map fringe, I'm going to take the flow resistance up to maximum. And then I'm going to take the flow resistance down to zero. And you'll just notice um, the subtle differences you can get by uh, playing with these sliders here. What I also really like is the way that the colors interact um, when you brush them over each other and with the different variants as well you can still get very interesting color mixing effects look at that the way that the color bleeds into the other colors um, one of the ones I also really like for mixing color is the melted flow map and I'm gonna make uh, a few different brush strokes here with some different colors and then just wait and you'll see here there's a sort of animated movement as the color starts mixing together you can get some amazing abstract patterns as you can see these flow maps can work quite well with custom papers so for instance here I've picked from the Jeremy Fave Papers 5 custom paper library um, Jeremy's crazy type and this is just a custom paper I created so I'm just going to uh, paint with the noisy flow map fringe here and you can see how the textures reflected there in quite an interesting way talking of um, custom what I think is really amazing here and there's so much potential um, for interesting uh, imagery is to create your own custom flow map textures and I'm going to show you how to do this so since these are grayscales I'm going to make my um, main color black and I'm going to pick a couple of different brushes so I'm going to start off with Jeremy box set 5 and we'll do some paint splatters um, so just a little bit of paint splatter down the bottom there um, and then we'll go to the pens and we'll work with some dry ink going down. Um, one of the things that I really like is the way that um, paint drips. And so what I'm going to do is just create a little bit of drippiness, you could say. Or maybe one more like that. Um, and we'll just see what happens here. So I'll go to a rectangular selection and select this here and I'm going to go to the flow maps panel and capture flow map just like I would capture a paper texture and I'm gonna call this uh, drippy and say okay there it is let's um, now see what it looks like and so I'm going to uh, deselect I'm going to go to the real watercolor and let's work with a melted flow map and maybe work with uh, sort of a teal color and just see what happens as it melts. Um, what's nice here is you can actually see the shape of this drippiness influencing uh, the shape of the melt and just to uh, compare that to say another one of the flow maps if I use the other flow map you'll see it's very different so the edge here is directly influenced by the flow map that I've chosen so have fun 
with these incredible new flow maps. Uh, I'm going to be uh, covering these and uh, going through some of those real watercolor brush controls in a little more detail in my webinar coming up on July 18th. And if you go to paintboxTV.com and look in the store, um, you'll find the details. So enjoy. All the best.